Hello, fellow friends. This is the Senior Lab Guy, a.k.a. Paul Imperius. I've got a case here we're working on. I need to make a night guard for this patient. Uh, we received the models and scanned them into Medit and have created the files. Here we are. Go into Create. I put the name. select the upper arch this is for an upper night guard here I need to find the DMI file for suggested bring in digital impression click OK there's our file import scan it is in our library of patient scans here we are and we need the upper as you can see here the upper jaw that's our upper and we'll find the lower, click that, and off we go into Splint Studio. I've been using Splint Studio faithfully as it is one of the best I find. Um, works well, get a good result. And just let it boot up. I believe there are other design softwares out there. However, I'm just not a super fan of the other ones. All right, so first order of business, once it boots up, here we are. So it asks you to click three points, buckle, distal, central, and there's our plane automatically populated. I'll go a little bit slower here so you can follow along, pause at any time. This allows you to open up the arch, gives you a nice one millimeter space across everything. I do play the excursions. I do have some discluding here, so we'll have to fix that. So we'll open it up a little bit more. Set that, lock it. And now you can see, oh, we do have a little bit of right in this spot here. So let's just open it up a little more. And try one more play. Oh, hang on a second here. Gonna reset. So we're going to open up one. Five, pocket, play. It's a pretty serious cusp right there, so that we gotta make sure that that works. Lock the jaw. That. There we go, completely opened up. Next, I basically go with what parameters are there. Uh, retention, I set mine at 0.7. I believe it does matter as to the actual printer that you're using. Decrease this. This I'm just going to do a little wash in the sulcus just because I find that it just impinges a little bit. So let's just remove that. Otherwise, I go with whatever the computer actually suggests. Now, to each his own, what everybody wants to use for their... I like a nice little scallop around the buckle of all molars. And I include the cuspid slightly. Get a nice labial view here. Go across. And then start your scallop again. What we're indicating here is the actual line of the final appliance to be manufactured. So we're just creating the outline. And we'll just join the two lines here. And now this allows us to go back and see how our lines actually look. If they're all straight. I like to take a little bit of extra time here just as the finishing. If I can do a couple clicks it's a lot faster than pulling out another burr and trimming or doing whatever. Then, nice and symmetrical as you can. Next, 
I select always the flat plane, highlight the area, next. What do we got? Split may not fit. Auto correction is not possible. Well, let's find out here in one second. It will tell us after it calculates the splint whereabouts that area of concern is. It's probably going to be right back in the. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, something underneath. There's probably a small little bite bubble. We're just going to go like that and see if that makes it better. Smooth. Let's smooth out all this buckle. Make it all nice and flat. Look pretty. As you can see here, where it indicates where the teeth are going to hit. I usually use my remove tool. And we'll just turn on, sorry, wrong button. We're going to turn on the lower model slightly so you can see how much you really need to expose. I can run the excursions at this point if I was to do that. However, if I find if it has too much material to push around, um, the creation of these sharp edges will form. So if I do a little bit of removable of that tissue of the um, base prior to running my excursions, I find I get a little bit nicer result. Now we're just going to make this a little bit more contoured. Try not to remove any of the occlusal that you can see is indicated by the red outline. Now I'm an old school guy, so I like to turn off my model and see what my actual borders are going to look like. And visually, those look pretty darn good. You can check the depth if you want, but you'll get the hang of the doing this a few times and you'll do it with no trouble. Add a little bit more here. And then we're going to hit our smooth tool. A little bit less intensity just to kind of get rid of a little bit of the bumps and grooves. Alright, turn our actual model on. Now over in here is Adapt Design. I always put this at 0 0.01 of a millimeter and I play it. And that will push everything around. And as you can see, you've got some sharpness here. You've created like a definite depression here. We have a little hole spot that's probably on that little cuspid that we had with the excursions. Now we're going to use our smooth tool a little bit. Let's get that back. Make a little smaller size, a little bit more intensity. Smooth this whole line angle out here that was formed. Push that down. So we're just more or less just shaping now our final outline. Try not to touch the occlusal area within the green. This is a very smart program so it helps you a lot and utilize all the tools as best you can. This is just more or less what I self-taught myself in order to provide a pretty darn good fitting appliance. If that's proper English I don't know. Now, it says I have a little hole. It's probably on that cusp. But yeah, see the area of concern? So you can do two things. You can add a little bit, and it goes away, which is probably the better way to do it, and then smooth it before the air shows up. All right, and then we're going to run our excursions one more time just to make sure they're all good and clear. We do have a spot here. I'm going to smooth that first. It just seemed to push the material a little bit. Otherwise, we're going to turn this way, down, way down our smooth tool, and we're going to remove this, get that off, and you can see we're just going to clean that up beautifully, correct any validations. Again, it's that area right there. Let's just add a little bump, and we're good to go. Next, we end up with our name, and plus. And then you can change this to whatever you want to type something in here. You want a pan number, you want to put in a case number, whatever you like. I like to actually put the patient's name in here. Right click on the outside so that it accepts the information that you've done. I always put my name right about here. This is embossed, it's not engraved, like so it's more depression. So it's just enough after you polish and everything's all done. It'll come out with your final design. Right click once it's finished here. Come on. Click advanced. Generate your CAD output. 
and then you go advanced and you explore your cam and there it is for you I would like to show you the next step which is nesting and how I nest on my Asiga because I feel that this has a lot to do with how the final appliance fits so here's our base we go and add our file select we go look at our manufacturing directory there's the name there's our appliance we open it up and it comes all right Asiga needs to have these things 45 degree to the table that seems to be the only way things print properly I'm going to rotate this because this is my OCD that has to have a nicely perfect everything. Uh, quarter inch or so from the table, you can see down here, quarter inch distance. You now click Add Supports. Um, your settings for this are very important. Contact width is 0.450, island width is 2.0, overshoot is 1.2. Um, everything else I believe is standard. Uh, click Apply. And there's our suggested. Now, in saying this, when we go and send this to the printer and print it, it actually comes out fairly smooth on the occlusal, even though I've got all those covered in supports. Uh, night guard. And that's it. Send the bill to the printer. And there you go. Pretty easy peasy, only a few minutes to do all this. Uh, polishing is very simple. Maybe I'll put a video on of how I polish them, and that way you can see the whole full procedure. Thank you very much. Have a good day.